big idea. Well, hello, Cal. What are you trying to do? Turn my office down? No. Just to nail up a picture of a he coyote. I wish I was a nailing it onto his ornery hide instead of there. Well, I wish that I was furnishing the 20 penny spikes for the job. Oh, boy. Oh, Cal, 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 well, <laughs> sounds kind of easy. I don't doubt, Cal, that Serge Karloff deserves all the lead you could give him. I don't want that kind of money. You catch him. That's your job, Cal. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> and I'm just praying for the chance. You boys get those stairs all ordered? Every last one of them, Wade. You got a check ready? Come and get it. Right over. That's Hello, Hello. Hello. Here's your money, boys. Ah, oh, thanks. That's what we like. You've worked hard enough to deserve it. In the meantime, take care of yourself. That's a lot of money for a couple of young scamps like you to have. Would be wait if we own it all, but you see, we don't. We settle up over at the bank. We'll have just about enough to buy a lot of beans and hardtack for the next round of. Mama. <laughs> right. Well, come on. Let's get on over there and settle up with the bank before old man Beal starts yelling his head off. Go on, Wade. Be good. Hey, what's the matter? What are you moping around about? Hey, you know, I suggest about you that 5000 right now. Yeah, I reckon you could. So can a lot of people. I can't hardly imagine you tangling up with that hombre, though. You better come along with us. we got plenty of business to do. Come on, let's get going. Hey, uh, I reckon I'll be leaving you here. You and July can tend to things at the bank. You're not coming with us, huh, kid? I'm riding to Andre's. Somebody expecting me down there. I see. I hope they no female. She must be humdinger, Bob. She sure is. Wait till you see her. <laughs> well, be careful. I always did hate trouble. Especially when it's wrapped up in a petticoat. Listen, you old horn toad, wasn't you ever in love at any time? Well, I, uh, I fell in something once. That's why I'm Brandon Steers instead of president of a railroad. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you look like something happened to you. Come on. Howdy, Judge. How are you today? No. No. I'm telling you to save the trouble of asking. I won't renew your note. This time, it's got to be paid. Every dollar. But, Judge, listen. If you I... give somebody else a chance to talk, you might hear something. Uh, can't say as I blame you much, Judge, but... Uh, no, you see... can't. Sure you can't. I've renewed it too many times already. Judge, this check ought to be enough to balance our account. It'll probably leave us a couple of hundred over. <laughs> sure, Danny. I always knew I could depend on you. You just endorse that. Sure, I will. And I'll go and get the notes and mark it pay. Well, Bob, your shares must have brought a good price. A little better than five thousand. Just cut the money. Sure. Say. You want to help me plaster this skunk's picture roundabout? I'd like to, Cal, but 
I'm riding to Andre. Adios. You have spoiled my game. And if so, you will be very sorry. Pardon, Captain. We got to hurry. Young fellow coming across the border with five thousand dollars. Well, for five thousand dollars, I forgive you. Go on. A young fellow just stole his cattle, headed for his jail. He's riding right behind me. If you fellas are looking for money, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. Mr. Man, Peter, I need all right. Bring him along. Sit down, senor. Sit down. Thanks. Peter, uh, gentleman, boots, please. Wait a minute. I don't keep money on my boots. Oh, you don't mind if we look, senor? Go ahead. Thank you. No use, Captain. He must have a head in it somewhere. My friend, one hour ago you had $5,000. Where is it? Since you are so interested in other folks' money... Mm. Other folks' money is all I have, senor. Well, the money you were looking for has already been paid into the bank at Corrido. Into the bank, eh? Yeah. My partner took it there as soon as we got it. That was one bad mistake, senor. You think so? But your partner, he can take it out again, no? He might. But he won't. Oh, that is too bad. No, you are very young. You are a handsome caballero. It would be a pity if you should die. Write your friend. Tell him the money must be here before sundown. Tell him you never needed so much before, and you'll never need it so much again. Trouble, Dan. Who giving us notes, son? Fellow down the street. He made me swear to give it to you quick. Listen, gave me a dollar, too. Come on, Eli. Dan! What's the matter? We've got to get that money back again, Eli. Bob's in trouble. It's that third car off. Come on. Well, very sorry. Dan, can I go through with it? Give me, partner. Judge, I gotta borrow five thousand dollars. I gotta have it right now. Read that. Read it, Judge. Every minute counts. Do I get it? Danny Savage, I always knew you were a fool. It's just the likes of you that make it possible. Judge, I've gotta have that money. Sorry. I've gotta have it. Don't but you, you won't get it. Not a cent of it. 
Get the sheriff. Organize a posse. And murder Bob, my pal? I can't do that, Jed. Well, I'm sorry. I can't do it. Get the horses, you lie. Bring them around to the bank. Bobby, hurry up. Jed, I'm an honest man and you know it. I always pay my debts. Don't I? I've got to have that $5,000. A man's life hinges on it. I, I, I told you what to do. Get the sheriff. Organize a... Now, Danny Savage, don't you do anything you'll be sorry for. That was one lovely trick you show me. <laughs> it isn't bad. My pal thought it to me. Your friend, he will come with the money, yes? Uh, I hope so. You know, I like you. I should hate to kill you. But people must know that when Captain Karloff says something, it comes to pass. Hey, Todd, see anything? Letting in sight, Captain. Oh, uh, permit me. I am in love, too. I like to see what you bring to your lady. So your girl is Carmelita. Well, that's none of your business. You have the very bad misfortune to be in love with the same girl as Captain Carlos. Don't be a fool. Carmelita could never love a renegade like you. Maybe you do not know that women like men can be made to change their minds. Oh, you're crazy. Well, I have liked you. Now it's much different. If your friend come with the money, you shall be free. But I hope it shall not be so. Come down, senor. Good night. the best I could, Bob.
Sheriff, I think that Karloff yarn was a put-up job. And it wouldn't surprise me a bit, but what they were both members of that gang. And I'm warning you. It's all here, Judge. You didn't have a chance to use it. All right, Cal, we're ready. Well, Judge, everything turned out all right, didn't it? You hold a warrant for the rest of these men, and I demand that you do your duty. I hate to do it, boys. I'd have done the same thing myself. But the law's the law. to lock you up, ma'am, but there ain't a jury in this county that'll convict you. What you in for, fellas? Bank busting. Well, that's fine. That's what I play banks is for. Uh -huh. Sure, partner. Come over here. Don't let them get you down. There's more than one way of getting out of this coop. Now listen, did you ever hear of Serge Karloff? Sure. What's that you said, partner? Well, I was just about to tell you, Pard, you two are lucky to get in jail today instead of tomorrow. Why is that? What do you mean? The chief's taking me out of here tonight. And maybe when he finds that you're a couple of bank workers, he'll take you along. You say his name's Serge Karloff? You said it, mister. I'm a Karloff man. Take a look at that. You'll find that brand on every man that rides for Captain Serge Karloff. Mighty glad to know you, partner. Mighty glad. Thanks. Glad to know you. you warned the sheriff? Yes, Captain. He's got every man in the place with him, and he's waiting for you on the other side of town. That's good. You're right, and whatever happens, keep riding. All right, Captain. Come on, boys. You sure they were ahead of this way, Ted? That's the word I got, Cal. Well, what do I want to come up? Keep quiet back there, man. Captain, 
Open. Hello, Dolver. Hi. Come on. Wait a minute, Captain. Take them to us. Uh, they held up the bank today and had a little bad luck. Hmm. One cannot have too many friends of the right kind. Let them out, Senor Jailer. Thanks, Captain. Your name, gentlemen? My name is uh, Black, uh, Ed Black, and this is uh, my pal Pecos. You will not forget what Captain Karloff has done, no? Captain, I promise. I won't ever forget it. Good. Give me those keys. Come on. Please, step in jail, senor. Will you please? Thanks. I'd kind of like to lock a jailer up for a change. Come on, man. Get me out of here. Reckon I'd better get mine, too. Here's your gun. Ed? Thanks, take it. If Senor Black wishes, he can't come with us to Andretta. Life is gay there. Well, that's fine, Captain. I was hoping you'd ask us. Our horses are out in the sheriff's corral. Come on, we'll get them. Come on, man. Come on, Peggy. This is the boundary, boys. We can't go across. We might just as well go back. Thank you. 
enjoyed your dancing, Ethan. It was beautiful. The name of Senor Black is new to me, but the face is old, Senor. Well, what do you mean, miss? <laughs> I mean, it is not new to me. I have known you before. I, I think you're mistaken, miss. I may not the lucky one. Senorita Carmelita is Captain Carlos' girl. Oh, uh, Carmelita is nobody's girl, senor. Do not fall in love with Carmelita, senor. It is dangerous. You will excuse me, gentlemen? Certainly. Come on, buy old Hardy a drink. What you say, big boy? Buy old Hardy a drink. Well, in the first place, I ain't got no money. In the second place, All I... right. If you will buy old Hardy a drink, old Hardy will buy big boy a drink. What do you say? Well, I'll buy old Hardy a drink. Well, that's better. All <laughs> right. Bartender. This is Senor Black. We have the honor of being served by Senor Zapata, who not only owns this charming paradise, but is the uncle of the exquisite. Well, that's fine. Gracias. Now, watch closely, my friend. <laughs> Who taught you that trick? The trick he was shown me by one fine caballero. And then I had to kill him. But you had to kill him, huh? Mm. Yes, senor. It was this. I see. You wish to try him, senor? Yes. Try it. Oh, like a good enough. <laughs> oh, you are one smart man, Senor Black. You should belong to Captain Carlos. I like nothing better. If you wish it, it is done. Hey, you, Spot, bring me the candle. A little test of courage is needed to join Captain Carlo. You do not mind, senor? No, go ahead. Open your shirt. You are a brave man, senor. I like you. Now you belong to Captain Carlos. You will always remember, eh? Always. That's fine. And you. You have the good luck to become a Carlos man just because you're a friend of Senor Black. Open your shirt. can bellow, you shall make me one fine man. <laughs> Come on now, let's drink to my two new men, Captain Carlos Pay. Come on now, everybody, Captain Carlos Pay. So, Senor Dan, you have become one very bad bandit. Since you know me, senorita, I'd like to have a word with you in private. We better get out of here quick and stay. That's what a man by the name of Samson said. All he got was a haircut. 
Oh, don't worry about that. Go on over and have a good time. I'll be back. Now, go ahead. Why are you here, Senor? Is it true you have become a bandit? It looks that way, don't it? Your friend Bob told me you won very fine man. It will hurt him to learn you are only the common rogue. Did you know Bob? <laughs> sure I know him. He's one nice boy. He's dead. Oh. Uh, is. Senor Black. Where is he? Oh, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, come on here. Small drink for everybody. Hurry up now. Get back in there, will you? He's yelling his head off. I just told him the darndest lie. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Ha, <laughs> my friend. Uh, nine, ten times I drink your health, uh, and you're not here. <laughs> we make it twelve times, eh? Wait a minute, Captain. I have a little personal business I want to attend to. I'll see you in the morning, huh? Good. But, but remember, no more bank jobs without Captain Karloff. I promise you, Captain. Every move I make from now on, you'll be with me. That's fine. All right? All right. Adios. 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 Where to? Corrida. Come on. Just a minute. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. But don't blame me. We land in jail again. I'm not. Just stay here and watch the horses. Well, what the... Sorry, Cal. But I've got to talk to you. I can't risk going back to your jail. You put that gun away, Dan Savage. Talk your fool head off. Come on inside. All right. Well, that's just fine if it works, but I doubt it. Why, I wouldn't give a nickel for your eye for July's either. Well, I'll take all the risk, Cal. Don't worry about it. Oh, boy. Come on, July. Here they come now, Captain. Hi, Red. Hi, boys. Hello, Red. Hello, Red. Hello, Red. Hello, Red. Hello. You send for me, Chief? Now, listen closely, my friend. Today is pity as the San Vincente Rancho. The money is about $1,000. It will be on the Corrado estate. Now, well, somewhere between Corrado and the ranch, you take the money. Do you I... understand, my friend? Well, yes, yeah, sure, Chief. Ain't you riding with us? Captain Karloff, do not ride for trifle. Besides, my friend, I like you. I want to give you a chance to prove you are a good Karloff man. Thanks, Chief. Don't mention it, my friend. Take the men you want to help. They're all good men. Well, I'll take Tarver, Spud, you preacher, and take us here. That's all I want. That's all? Why, sure. I figure the fewer the men, the faster we can ride, huh? When do we start? Now, senor. 
And remember, too much time is better than too little. That's right. <laughs> well, come on, men, let's ride. Over here, Dan Savage. I ain't going to help you nor nobody else hold up no... What? Get on the horse. Shut up. I think my horse got a rock in his foot. He's been limping on me. Put him up. Reach for it, boys. Do it quick. No bunky business now. Take your guns away from him, July. Well, what's the matter? Like, are you joking? I'll tie him up. Hurry it up. What's the... Listen, gun I got in my right hand belonged to my pal. His name was Bob Reed. What? You know, I didn't have nothing to do with that killing. I was in jail. Ah, uh, that's the only reason you wasn't in on it. You're going to suffer the same consequence as the rest of them. Come on back, preacher. You can't get away with that. Come on in. Hurry it up a little. I'll tie him up, you lot. You winged him for it, didn't you? That's all I wanted to do. Cheating's too good for any of them. So hang him. I reckon that's the best we can do. All right. We'll get him out of now, Eli. We'll keep him covered. Take it away. All right, pull him back up, Eli. Come on, boys. Come on. No use waiting any longer, Captain. Something sure happened. At four o'clock we will go. the money, my friend. They never even seen the state, Captain. They met a possum south of Corrado. Twenty men. Seemed like they knew what it was all about. I was waiting for them. It's a regular masquerade, Captain. Poor old preacher. Spot. Top. Nipped off my saddles just like blackbird. Si, senor. Talk too much with your mouth. Three men killed and no money. That has never happened before. Wouldn't have happened this time, I don't think, Captain, if you'd been with us. Give me something powerful for relaxing, son. Yes, I need it. Turn them bandits. Hello, big boy. Get away from me. Oh, how can I? When I love everything about you. Even your nasty disposition. Say nothing of your bow legs. Three of my good men killed. Only you and Peko escaped. This must be fate. I reckon you're right, Captain. His turn. Stand for Captain Carlos, Senorita. I feel sad. I dance for everyone, senor. Ale.
Maria, que nem a Tiara, ela mora, como o Seb Silva. Well, what's that mean? I will tell you, sometime. <laughs> Can we not rest for a while in the shade, senor? Sure we can, Miss Carmelita. He is hot at that. Why do you stare so at Carmelita? You have seen me before. No? I didn't know I was staring at you, Miss Carmelita. Just had my mind on something, I guess. Oh, senor. You think too much and say too little. Well, sometimes it's a good thing not to talk too much, you know. We are alone, senor. Yeah, I know. That's just the trouble. We are alone. Maybe Carmelita knows what you think. Well, if you're going to go ahead and read my mind, it's your own fault. I have to read your mind if you will not speak. Can't you read mine? Well, Miss Carmelita, I think mind reading is kind of out of my line. Then I will tell you. Me gusta ria que ni hiciera el amor como usted silva. Yeah, I know, but I still don't understand it. I'm not up on my Spanish, I guess. It means if you could make love like you whistle. Oh, that's what it means, huh? Maybe I had better brush up on my Spanish. No, no, no. I think you better stick to your whistling. Hey, Miss Carmelita! <laughs> no! No, 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 that isn't fair! No. It wasn't fair when you ran away from me either, Miss Carmelita, was it? No! Uh, no. To say so, I think it is better we are pulling out of here right now. And you, Mac, do you think Captain Carlos should take to his heels just because seven men were killed? I ain't never been accused of being yellow, but in three weeks we lose seven men, just like the earth opened and swallowed them. My enemy is a man, not a god. Senor Black, all my trouble began with you. Maybe you could give Captain Carlos some good advice for all the bad luck you called me. Well, yes, Captain. Kind of looks like some unknown man hates you. Just trying to get even with you, maybe. Seems like that you tend to remain unknown, too. No, Senor. It is a question of a day. Maybe an hour, but Captain Karloff will know. Sooner the better. You know, senor, I had a dream about you last night. Well, you did, huh? In my dream, you were my enemy. Gee, that's interesting. What did you do? Do? Why, uh, I shot you, senor. I put your back against the patio wall in the cantino. Oh, I will remember your face when my bullet strikes you. Hmm. What a dream. I'm glad it was only a dream. Listen, all this talk about seven dead men and all these nightmares makes me plumb thirsty. Come on, Hip. All right. Follow.
not so much of it. No, no. Listen, I thought we were going to Corrado. You are. You will not, senor. You get the corrector just as quick as you can. Get a hold of Cal Webster. Tell him to get his men hiding the rocks on his side of the line. Carl off his whole band will come across to you here. Well, that old devil's too suspicious to cross that line now. Listen, he's gonna run me across that line. And meaning what? But at just exactly four o'clock, I'm going to tell Carlos what happened to his seven men. You hear? Well, if you do, you'll cross a line. It won't be on this earth either. I'll get phone party, will you? Come on. Well, goodbye. This is the first time I ever officiated at a suicide. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks, Miss Carmelita. Please, Dan. Why don't you go away? I can't just yet. Well, they stop at the cantina, Captain. It looks like they were going to get liquored up. outside. Now listen. My advice to you is to stay out of trouble and stay out of Corrado. All right, Sheriff. together, Cal. Tim's leading the whole damn shooting match across the border at four. He is, eh? Ted, you get on my phone. Tell the boys to meet us here. Hold right. on, July. Take care of things, Hog. Yeah. Soon, Carlos must learn the truth of his missing men. Oh, no. Give us a drink. He's going to learn the truth now. Goodbye, Carmelita. I hope to we'll see you tonight. Oh, is my friend Black. Will you join me, senor? No, thanks, Captain. Can I have a word with you alone? Why, sure. Why not? Maybe you want to tell Captain Karloff a secret, no? Maybe. Fine. Well, what is it, my friend? It's a secret, Captain, that you... Captain, I gotta see you quick. Huh. Well? Such foolishness. Go on, my friend. Why, I just wanted to tell you, Captain. What become of the seven men, that's all? Up with them. Come on. You don't have to tell me. I found out for myself. Well, my friend, my dream has come true. We have just seven minutes to live. One minute for each of my seven men. But I am merciful. And an excellent shot. 
I shall aim at the mark of Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Captain. Please, please, Capitan. You will not kill him in my place. Oh, no, senor. The dream must be fulfilled. He shall die in the patio. Precious, precious, <laughs> Capitan, precious. Captain. Yes? Carmelita would like to see you. Oh, in a moment, madam. Ah, Carmelita wants to see you in her room. Now. Oh. <laughs> you do not mind living a few minutes more, my friend. Captain Karloff is going to visit the charming Carmelita. And to see our friend, Senor. So if you really guys thought you'd get away with something, eh? Come in. Hey, Max. Release Senor Black. I made a mistake. Let him go. Well, are you deaf? Let him go. Okay, Captain. Put him up. All right. Take your men and hide down behind that bush. The rest of you boys, come with me. Some of your friends already in there waiting for you. Well, the circuit court meets next week, and I reckon we're going to have just about the biggest hanging bee ever seen in Arizona. So just rest easy, men. Come on, Ted. Thank you. 
We caught the whole gang, but Carlos got away. He's downstairs now. We've got to get him, Carlos. Oh, no, please. Don't go down there, Dad. Don't worry. Dad. I'll be all right. Don't follow me, either. Stay here. Are you all right, son? I'm all right, Julie. Well, I thank you. Oh, Dad, Dad, get away, you. Get away, get away. Oh, I'm all right. I'm just going to allow you. I'm going to allow you. I'm going to Okay, okay. I'm all right, John. I'll leave it. Get up out of there. Give me something powerful relaxing. We did, Julie. We did. My hero. 